Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun, and in this video we're doing a film swap with Lou from Sweet Lou Photography. This guy. So let's hop right into it and take a look at some of these photos. So this is actually the second time Lou and I have tried a film swap. The first one, eh, it didn't work out so great. We were both experimenting, kind of new to this whole film swap idea, which if you don't know, it's basically where I shoot a roll of film, expose it one time, drop it in the mailbox. It ends up over on the other side of the country with Lou. He sticks that roll of film in his camera, shoots a double exposure over all of my exposures, and then we just see what we come up with. So we shot a bunch of film. Some of it worked out, some of it didn't. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. But there were a couple shots from our first experiment that did turn out pretty cool. For example, I really love this double exposure of the fat tire sign that I took and the public transit bus that Lou took. I think it just works out really well. If I'm not mistaken, this was with a roll of Cinestill 800. Another particular shot that I wanted to show off was this neon sign where I just kind of cropped the top of this piercing sign to say pie and Lou had a photo of some trees back here. It just looks really neat together. They just kind of go together. Double exposures don't always work out, but when they do, sometimes they're just really awesome. And here's another example of a neon sign, and you can clearly see Lou's photo of the leaves behind it. So I just thought a couple of these images looked cool. So let's hop into our most recent film swap. We shot a roll of this double film Apollo 200 and a roll of Ilford XP2 400. And you've seen all the photos, so I won't bore you with talking about all of them, but I just wanted to go through a couple of my favorites. Now this shot here of Garden of the Gods in Colorado, it's an absolutely awesome park. I went out and I shot it at sunset and you can see Lou's very subtle fall leaves underneath my exposure and it's worth noting that my exposure was quite bright maybe a little overexposed sorry about that Lou and my photos came out a lot more prominent in my exposures than his exposures which it looks like his are about one stop underexposed and I probably should have shot this scene at least one or two stops underexposed to make his photos a lot more prominent but there is some beauty in the subtlety of some of these leaves it just looks really neat and kind of surrealistic. So although they didn't turn out perfect and that can be expected with film, they did turn out pretty interesting and there's a sort of fine art to them that I really like. Especially here you can see these branches and these leaves with the rocks and it's just, you know, nature on top of nature double exposures that I think are really interesting. Now, to be fairly honest, my favorite role was the black and white Ilford XP2. Again, I shot these a little bit hot and you can see by these black bars in the frame, not only am I a little bit overexposed, but I actually missed Lou's exposure by about 25% here. So our frames aren't perfectly lining up. So when you start to see these black bars or two different exposures, that's because I misaligned our double exposures just a little bit, but mistakes add character. Now this one is probably my favorite. Even though it's out of focus, I really enjoy the fact that I captured this deer just a split second before he ran away. And in Lou's exposure, there are these little bits of trees and leaves and subtlety around the deer just to kind of really bring your focus into the center of the frame. But at the same time, the focus is on the center of the photo and the deer or the subject of this photo. Now here's where things got a little bit funky. Lou started playing around with some light painting and some light trails in these photos. And on top of the rocks, they look really funky. There's like some 
Illuminati pyramid alien invasion kind of feel going on with these photos. I really enjoy how they turned out. Again, I love that their frames didn't exactly line up. So we have these kind of random black bars. They're just experimental and they're interesting. And you can see in some of these images, I decided to keep Lou's kind of main crop from his exposure. Some of them I kept mine, just kind of depending on how they turned out. But I really love the fact that Lou got this creative idea of doing these light trails that just meshes with the rocks really well. So those are some of my favorite photos from my film swap with Lou. Be sure to check out his video. I think it turned out way cooler than mine. I'll have the link down in the description and the top comment. So that's all for this video. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this film swap and if you'd like to see more film photography videos from the Running Gun channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this video because that's what you're supposed to do on YouTube. And until next time, get out and go shoot.